Well, it was, a, it was an interesting offseason for Tessa and I because, unfortunately, uh, well, not unfortunately, but we didn't get to tour like we usually do. We wanted to give our team uh, some good time in the offseason to kind of build uh, our off-ice team and our on-ice team to kind of build a good base. Uh, with this being kind of like a two-year plan, we had kind of circled this time uh, in order to, to build up that, that foundation and, and really make sure that <coughs> technically we were strong going into the Olympic season. And, um, so it was too bad not to go coast to coast like we usually do, but at the same time it gave us an excellent uh, base of training and we were really ready. We feel like we've had a great summer, um, you know, there's a lot of work left to do, but uh, as of right now, um, you know, August 29th, we're, we're in a great position. Uh, the rhythm this year is Latin, so um, we're working within the samba rather, uh, rumba rhythms and mm -hmm. we've enjoyed that. It's always tricky transitioning ballroom movements to the ice and we really want that to read authentically so um, trying to incorporate some edge work instead of just standing on the spot. We kind of feel like we've done this Latin <laughs> rhythm a couple times and I think that's more our fault because we've been in the game uh, for a long time but um, so we're trying to do something a little different I think this time. And um, free dance, um, the music, it's Moulin Rouge and it's uh, we absolutely love it. I'm not sure we've been as in love with the program before, um, you know, trying to bring a bit of a different twist to the, to the style as always, but um, we've really connected with it. And, you know, and looking back in, at this off season, quote unquote off season, trying to think about some highlights or some monumental events, and there really aren't any. And I guess that's just because things have been sort of ticking along right as planned. And as an athlete, that's exactly, you know, where you want to be, but um, maybe not quite so exciting from, from the media yeah. perspective. <laughs> We don't have exciting things to say, that's for sure, but it's been a great summer. Yeah, we were, we were loving being right in the thick of training. Um, we had a really intense um, sort of gym-focused two months, uh, June, July, May, yeah. June, I guess. Um, and then now we've transitioned so the intensity is more on ice focused. And, and I think when we came back last year, you know, at this camp, we kind of had like a honeymoon feeling. We just came back, you know, we had all this excitement, we were loving skating, and We've been kind of waiting for that to die off, and it really hasn't. And uh, we're pretty lucky for that. And we've kind of been able to, to take the momentum of last season and, and push it through. And we're still enjoying going into the rink every day. I mean, we love our coaching staff. Uh, we love everybody that we work with. So uh, yeah, we're feeling like very fortunate athletes. Yeah, it was. I mean, it was certainly a rewarding season, but probably for all the reasons that people wouldn't expect. I mean, it's not just that we won all of our competitions, which was so exciting and something we've never done. But it was just more than that because. The gratification of sort of taking the risk and coming back and pushing ourselves um, was so meaningful and you know all of those training sessions day in and day out uh, that's what carried us sort of that pure passion for the sport again and it's really refreshing. Absolutely and I think with the success of last season now we need to kind of rely on on being veterans and, and not getting too excited about that keeping our goals the same and uh, I think you know, this is a similar season to last year. We we need to uh, approach it the same way. And, I mean, you never know when you get a chance at Olympic Games. So we're looking to soak up every single moment and, and enjoy the process. As cliche as that sounds, that's, that's really what we find works. We probably still have 22 and 26 left in this, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think I think there is, and I think that's a bit of the magic. You know, I think when you get to be uh, a little bit older, more veteran skaters, you just realize that the, this opportunity doesn't come around that often. So um, we'll really be taking it in. And there is, I think there is a big sentimental uh, aspect to this year. It'll be interesting to see how that plays as we go along. I think it's something we'll have to kind of pay attention to because, you know, I'm, I'm an emotional guy. So, you know, sometimes that doesn't work so well in my favor. So I, I gotta, I'll have to work on controlling that. And in a way, I feel we really overplayed that in the 2014 season. Mm -hmm. Not in a bad way, but just to be present and to take it in because we thought that was it as well. So yeah. we've been in this position. I think we know how to take advantage of the moments and the opportunities. Um, but maybe it isn't quite. Well, I guess it'll always be there. I mean, that's lingering over being the last six months, last, yeah. you know, Grand Prix, last whatever. So that's natural. It's there. I, th it's there, I yeah. think we just know that we, we won't say that this will definitely be the last because we've done that before. <laughs> but it probably. And, yeah, this wasn't for real. <laughs>